and I said, yeah, country music. <laughs>
Yeah. Thank you, folks. Good evening. Uh, nice to be here. Nice to be anywhere, actually. <laughs> uh, that was a tune called Tingling. Uh, it was called The Loss of the Bells. But uh, we played it in 4 4. Just to do those of you who have a theoretical mind, we played that in 4. It's originally written in 3. And uh, more than two can play it. Oh, you've it. it. One. Oh, so sorry, numbers. <laughs> anyway, we're going to carry on with a, a number from the audience as well. For, uh, written by a guy called Peter Bocage, and he called it Papa John Goodbye. Mama John Goodbye. <laughs>
politicians on the boat. Yeah, now they don't make a joke. They don't make a joke. Thank you. 
over there. <laughs> I go and I kill God. Come get a cabaret.
like Nissan car. They've left their hazard flashes on outside. <coughs> What's that? Hazard lights. Hazard lights. Hazard Someone got the hazard lights on there. Oh. Uh, now, uh, there's been several requests for this action on that day, gentlemen, so that's uh, the excuse for doing it. I, I do this number because it's a, uh, rather a surprise for a, a jazz outfit to do this. It's actually a folk song. But people seem to have taken to it. Outside his seaman's mission, 
memory fading like the metal ribbon he wears. And our winter city cries, cries a little pity for one more forgotten hero and a world that doesn't care. So how can you tell me
Well, I was playing. Uh, Bill, Bill's going to sing one for you. What is it, Bill? Baby, won't you please? Oh, sing zero, Bill. Baby, won't you please?
feature the finest trombone player in the band. Uh, this is a number written by the great Kidori. It's called Savoy Blue.
see you in half an hour. Don't worry, buy the raffle tickets and have a great time. Thank you. See you in half an hour. Just a quick commercial before you settle down. Uh, next Thursday, we'll see the regular first Thursday of the month appearance of the Easy Rider Jazz Band on the Friday stage. So next Thursday night, Easy Rider Jazz Band. And the following next Saturday, we should be featuring Peter Serfleet and the trumpet with us. So thank you very much indeed, and I hope you enjoy the night. Well, Three grand, or even up more, maybe. Yeah. Well, I believe it's about 1900. Yeah, 1900, yeah, I remember mean, I mean, you telling me. Yeah. Yeah. 
I only got him because of my wife. She said, if you, I'm going to talk to you, you don't get it. <laughs> so I didn't. She died three weeks funny later. <laughs> You wear them all the time, you don't wear them when you're at home, do you? No, I take them off for that. Yes. And you get the batteries cheap enough, can you not? I get the batteries, I have to buy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> 
He played over the whole last week. He played the whole last week. Uh, no, it was um, a, a bloody pub. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's the last Thursday of the month. Yeah, well, right. Anyway, they cut the plate. Shut it, have they? Oh. Another one gone down the trolley, have they? Oh, yeah, but the. Uh, they tell me the honest four year is open again. Yes, so I'm led to believe. And they want, want you back. No, we can't do that. Well, it's a better venue where you're playing at the moment. But I, I don't. I don't like the actual dancing to my mind. Uh, I come to see, here and see the band. Not the band. Nobody if they want to dance, but uh, we'd add to it a bit. Are you bunching again? Are you? Are you bunching again, Ethan again? Well, I have to because I'm diabetic. Right. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm doing it. I don't have it. I didn't know that, right? <laughs> so, uh, you can control it in your mind. Yeah, by your uh, diet and uh, <laughs> medication. <laughs> Which I am not. Oh. There's always somebody in the wing bank. Oh, well, when George went, what did he say? George is out of the guy. He's in the top there. I don't know what he said. Well, that's where I got dropped in it. Yeah. You just say you're out of Well, I do, really. Well. I am. I am. Quite honestly, I'm. Um, I'm thankful that I can still be playing at all. Well, I, I, I'm very lucky I can do it. I'm only 80 and a half. I'm only 80 and a half, I'm only struggling. Well, so was mine. Ken Dobson, when you get over 80, he said, and everything. I'm going to get a drink now and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye. Thank you. Car still going all right? Right? The car's still going all right? The car's still going all right? Yes, it is. I hope Yes, it's got a slight oil leak. Oh. But not much of one. Um, please look at it on Wednesday. I came with Bill tonight, so I didn't have to use it. Ah. And, um, I've only got to go as far as messing him tomorrow, so that's not far. Yes, it ran pretty well, actually. Messing him? Oh, messing him, yeah. Scummy way. That's right. That's what it is, the messing him show or something. Maybe John Thompson's band.
So the sergeant said, well, I don't know, take it to the zoo. He said, oh, yeah, I thought that stuff. And the next day the sergeant's on the beat, and he sees this guy in Shaftesbury Avenue, and the penguin's still following him. And he said, I thought I'd say that to the zoo. He said, oh, that was yesterday. Today we're going to the pictures. <laughs> The sound of laughter is intoxicating. Really, really great. Thank you very much. Uh, a request has gone flooding in. Uh, dark down sweaters in that way.
this page number I'm going to do it because uh, I, I did it some weeks ago. A lady at the back said it was her favourite tune, but she never thought it, she'd hear it played at loud jazz clubs, which I thought was quite touching, really. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to do it tonight. It's a tune called My Romance.
a brand new choo-choo toy When I met my sweet Lorraine Lorraine, Lorraine She's got a pair of eyes Blue than the summer sky When you see them you'll realize Why I love my sweet Lorraine Cause when it's raining I don't miss the sun Because it's in my baby smile And to think that I'm the lucky one Who will meet her down the aisle Oh, it's night No one will steal her I can't wait until I have you When I marry sweet Lorraine This tune has got three titles actually. Um, the first one was Amy because uh, Ackerberg wrote it to his daughter called Amy. And then it became known as Stranger on the Shore. But the chap who wrote it, Ackerberg himself, always calls it the Strangler on the Floor. So which one was playing, I don't know. But it'll be something like that.
we're going to get going to do with George or something like that.
take them all to me. Dream a little dream of me. Just say night and night.
strike me when I'm gone. When I'm gone. You know our friendship ceases from now on. And if you can't say anything real nice, best not to talk at all, that's my advice. We part it, you go your way, I'll go mine. That's all we can do. Here's a kiss, I hope that this brings love to love to you. Makes no difference how I carry on. So please don't talk about me when I'm gone.
Thanks for coming out. Great journey home. Well, thank you all very much for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I must give thanks to uh, Behind the Bar, Peter Cook and the Brewery. Yeah, Potter. yeah. And Jeff Pellett and Peter Hanifada, who also work Behind the Bar. And at this end of the room, uh, as usual, on the piano, Frank Baker. Oh, yeah. And on two of her money bases, Christina. One of his money back, Joe's Jeff Morris. Yeah. And all his money drums and singing to his world tonight, Bill Trappleton. Yeah. And the man with the golden trombone played beautiful oh, tonight, yeah. Colin yeah. Thorne. Yeah. And I'll talk to you most of all to the guy that's led the band tonight and there's some for you and everything else, yeah. Brian Bowles. Hey. Yeah. Well, uh, the fact that I had some surgery yesterday has sort of taken its toll. I'm afraid the last bit was a bit wayward, but there you go. Not at all. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> very kind. But I, I did hear this silly uh, story about this cowboy who came into town dressed entirely in brown paper, and the sheriff arrested him for rustling. <laughs> There's that terrible cowboy story, a uh, guy visiting a little western town uh, and he's a sheriff, so he goes to see the local sheriff. And in the cell, he's got a, he's got a cowboy there who's dressed in nothing but brown paper. Brown paper shirt, brown paper jeans, brown paper boots, everything. He said, what are you in jail for? He said, rustling. <laughs> I'm just going to say, what about a big round of applause for Fred? <laughs> <It's not funny. laughs> I thought that Brian was going to come in limping tonight and say, Mr. Dillon, Mr. Dillon. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.